Hello friends, welcome to the 87th session of Hybris tutorial guys. In this session, we are going to learn some more features about the SAP Hybris ASM module. We are going to learn some more configurations which you will be using very frequently in your project work. But guys, the pre-request for watching this video is that you should have already watched the session 85th and session 86th, which is also based on the SAP Hybris ASM module. So before watching this video, please watch the session 85th and session 86th as well. So guys, in this session, we are going to cover the below points. The first point is how we can log out the logged in customer as well automatically as soon as we log out the ASM agent. What this means? This means guys, if I go to the ASM, so you can see I am going to the ASM. So this is the URL and guys, I have already done the setup right that is why i am able to open the b2c accelerator setup and that is why i am able to open the asm module in case guys you have not done this setup yet you can also watch the chapter 85th there i have explained the end-to-end -end steps for setting up the asm module in sap hybris so you can watch that video link of video is given in the description box as well as on the top right corner in card section but for now guys what i am doing i am logging into asm module as one of the asm user so you can see this is the username i am giving and the password is one two three four five six okay and i click on the sign in button right so uh, now what i do i basically uh, log in as a particular customer as a customer right so i emulate a particular customer this emulation concept i have already explained in chapter 85 so you can see i am emulating a customer and i am clicking on the start session right i am clicking on the start session right now guys if i log out if i log out as a AS, asm user you can see i am logging it out and currently you can see this asm user has emulated which customer this asm user has emulated the hybris tube customer right it is acting as this hybris tube customer with the simply means but now if i log out this asm user not i'm not logging out this hybris tube customer i'm logging out directly as a asm user so you can see i have logged out right but if i log in again with the same user if i log in again with the same user you will see that still in the session the logged in customer it will remain logged in it will not be automatically logged out so you can see still it is logged in right it didn't get logged out as soon as i clicked on the sign out button right so this is the first point this first point ex explains which all configurations which we need to add so that this logged in customer this logged in customer or this emulated customer also gets log out or its session also get ended as soon as i sign out the asm user so this is the first thing we are going to learn in this video and this type of customization is very much required in your projects that is why this will be very important for you to learn how you can implement this requirement right second is how you can change the logged in timer of the asm agent guys if you see over here i am a logged in asm user right and here you can see i have the timer right nine minutes um, is the timer currently you can see and it is decreasing but guys depending on the business requirement we might need to increase or decrease this timing right we might need this timing to be maybe 15 minutes or we may need this timing to be reduced to maybe like five minutes right so what all are the configuration which we need to do to basically change this out of box uh, asm login timing right so this is what point number two is saying so what all are the changes which we need to do in order to achieve this uh, requirement right then the point number three is saying how we can configure the count of bad login attempts of the asm user 
after that user login will be disabled so guys uh, if you see right let's say i open the back office as well in the back end so i am currently running my server on the port number 9022 right so i am just logging into the back office uh, maybe in your case it will be uh, the port number will be 9002 so you can check uh, as per your configuration but my server is running on 9022 right so i'm opening the back office but what i wanted to show you is let's say i sign out this user right i sign out this user what i wanted to show is if i enter the wrong password let's say i am entering the wrong password right so i am entering the wrong password and if i click on sign in it will say that okay your password is not correct or your password is not found but after a particular number of bad logins or a particular number of wrong logins this user login will get disabled right so that i am going to show you let's wait for this back office to get logged in okay so now you can see i have logged into the back office and in the employee section you can see i have opened the as agent user as well if i go to the password section guys over here you can see its current value is disabled login value is false right and we have done the one bad login so now i will try again with the wrong password so you can see i'm clicking on the sign in right if i refresh over here you will see that still it's disabled login value is false if i do it one more time guys you can see if i'm doing the bad login one more time it is showing the message your account has been locked right so you can see over here also it's disabled login value has been changed to true right so it means after the three bad logins right my account gets logged or the account of the asm user gets logged right so how we can change this number maybe with the business requirement i want this account to be logged only after the two bad attempts or only maybe after the five bad attempts right how can i you know do this configuration this is what we are going to you know learn in the point number c i hope it is also very important because in actual project scenarios generally we keep the five bad attempts so maybe you need to you know change this uh, configuration as well right the fourth and very important is how we can access the ASM APIs from the external sources using Swagger API. So we do have multiple ASM APIs, right? Maybe if we want to emulate a particular customer, in that case, guys, we will be basically then calling this personify customer API, right? And there are other APIs as well. Let's say for creation of the account, customer account, right? We can call this create account api similarly to emulate any customer we can call this emulate uh, customer by link api so it means there are multiple asm related apis so how we can call those apis right so uh, using the occ web service this is what we are going to learn in the point number four right in the point number d and finally guys once the asm module is completed then we will go to the cs cockpit module so we will be learning how you can access the cs cockpit in the hybris version 2211 previously uh, till the hybris version 1905 we used to had a separate cockpit for the cs uh, uh, cs customers or cs users so that url was something like this cs cockpit it was like this right but now if you try to open the cs cockpit with this user uh, you can see uh, you will not be able to log in into the cs cockpit right using this url now right so uh, how you can uh, open the cs cockpit after the hybris version 1905 or more specifically how you can open the cs cockpit in hybris version 2211 right so this is all what we are going to learn in this video and i hope these all five points you will be using 
very frequently in your project work as well so this video is going to be very important for you i'm again telling the prerequisite for watching this video is the session 85th and 86th so you should be going through that those chapters right um, chapter 85 and chapter 86 before watching these videos because in those videos only i have explained you the how to do the asm module setup right so you can also go through those videos so first of all we will firstly learn uh, the point a how we can configure that logged in customer also get logged out i have already shown you the demo right currently if we log out the asm user then the login customer is not getting log out right so what are the configurations which we need to do that i am going to tell you so to achieve this requirement what you have to do guys so what you have to do you have to go to your local dot property file and where is your local dot property file for that you have to go to your hybris folder then you have to go, go to your config folder over here we have the local dot property file right so you can see i am opening this local dot property file in the notepad plus plus and over here guys i will be adding one property I hope all the points are clear to you and I will just give you all the details in the notes of this video as well. So you can just download all of these notes by just going into the comment section of this video and just click on the link which is given in the first comment of this video and you can also get the access to all the notes related to this video. So I hope guys this video is useful for you and if this video is useful for you guys please share the link of this channel with your friends. Thank you for watching. Bye.